Yeah, not, I mean, I'm sure those guys have, that have thrown longer than me, mm -hmm. but not, not, not many. Yeah. Um, I was uh, looking at it the other day. I think I'm, I'm and I'm not 100 percent on this, mm -hmm. uh, but I think I might be the only one left in my draft class. I like being the oldest guy in the clubhouse because it's, you know, um, I, I was the youngest guy in the clubhouse at one point. Mm -hmm. Now I'm the oldest guy in the clubhouse, mm -hmm. so it's, um, yeah, it's cool. I'm proud of that. Mm -hmm. Definitely. This is me. This is what I do. This is me. Um, I've done it for so long. I've literally been a professional in professional baseball more than half of my life now. And uh, now that I have a family, uh, my wife loves the game. She wants me to keep playing, and uh, so that that helps out a lot. Um, having her support, um, and then my kids, my kids love coming to the games every day. You can hear me yelling for all the guys every day, and uh, I want them to, I want them to remember me playing. They want, I want them to be able to come out here and shag and and, uh, and work out with the guys, and they really enjoy it. So that's, now, that's something that keeps me going. Oh my lord, we flew out a lot of family uh, members. We're fortunate to be, uh, enough to do that. We had a, a lot of people from Ridgecrest and then uh, a lot of uh, Ridgecrest folks on their own flew out there just to watch him uh, opening uh, his debut in, in Washington. And it was fantastic. It's beautiful. His first strikeout was, um, oh man, who's the third baseman for the Mets at that time? My gosh darn uh, Wright. David Wright. David Wright. It was his first strikeout. He still got that ball. That was cool.